Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you a little bit of optimization that we did here internally at Low Code, and this is something that we build every day for our customers. So the first thing that we have here at the middle of the screen is this form, right? So we build this form so that the user will create a ticket uh, when they have a bug or an issue on their app. So basically they'll add their information. They can do here a screencast or upload um, image or images or a video showing how their app isn't working or something that we have to fix. Um, they can do that here. They can um, use a Loom link or a YouTube video, whatever. Uh, then they'll enter here some additional information here as well. And then their email, their email at email.com and project name, right? So I'll click here, submit. Um, I have to update a few things here. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so we have an automation in make, uh, in make.com that will generate here on the left, you're seeing our support channel in Slack. So in a few seconds, you'll see a new message showing up. What it's doing, it's generating or creating a new ticket on our support center here on the right sidebar, right? So here I have all of my tickets and in a few seconds we'll see that um, a new ticket will show up here and a new ticket will show up here in Slack as well. Cool. Now we see here we have this project name, which is the same ticket that we have here. So we have a new support request on Slack uh, with all the details that the user added and we have this task. Now, the thing is that ideally, we want to assign this task to a project manager, right? So I just built a little automation um, using both the Slack API. So I built a little Slack app um, and you can see the make scenario here. So basically, I can do a couple of things here. The easiest way, the best way we uh, are gonna work here in Slack is that the project manager that is responsible for this project, for this client, they will just add a custom emoji. And you can hear that we have Ceci, our head of operations, and Julia, one of our project managers. And then, so they'll see this here in Slack, respond or just add the right emoji. And this pretty large scenario will trigger. So basically this is connected to Slack, uh, we're getting the message, then I'm figuring out which tasks number this is, the ID of the task so that I can connect it to Plurio, which is the thing that we have on the right and assign a task to someone. So I'll click here and run. And then as soon as I, so let's select Julia here, then you see here in make that my scenario is running, right? So it ran all the way through, I can see here the event details. The most important thing is that the reaction. So I named this emoji, this reaction, Julia. She's the project manager. And then I get the message uh, from Slack and it's a pretty large message. And the most important thing that I need to get is the task ID from our customer portal. For that, I could have used regex, but I ended up using OpenAI. So that was the easiest way for me to do it. Um, and then I'm getting a task here on this task board. Uh, you can see here that we're using uh, the task ID that OpenAI module is giving us. And then it's finding that same task that we have in Slack in our customer portal. And then I'll just, I'll have a couple of uh, options here. So if it's uh, Cecilia, then it'll assign Cecilia as the project manager. And if it's Julia, it'll assign Julia as a project manager. So when I click here on this task, you will see that the assignee is Julia. And I can also update additional fields like a due date or something. So we have optimized, we're just um, setting up this flow, but it will really optimize our process and make our client communications better, our organization skills better, and our project managers will be happier because they will save a lot of time. That is what we do at Locode. We help your business save time with custom solutions like this. So hope you liked it. Um, that's it for now. Bye.